Solve cosine x equals square root 2 divided by 2 for all solutions, give exact radian answers, and use k to represent any integer. We will solve this equation using reference triangles as well as a unit circle. First, notice how the cosine function value is positive. On the coordinate plane, cosine theta is equal to x divided by r, which means cosine is positive where x is positive. And x is positive in the first and fourth quadrants. The next step is to find the reference angle that gives a cosine function value of square root 2 divided by 2. Having a cosine function value of square root 2 divided by 2 should remind us of a 45, 45, 90 reference triangle shown here below. And since cosine theta is equal to the ratio of the adjacent side to the hypotenuse, notice cosine pi over 4 radians, or 45 degrees, is equal to 1 divided by square root 2. And if we rationalize the denominator of 1 divided by square root 2, shown here, we do get a cosine function value of square root 2 divided by 2. Which means our next step is to sketch a reference angle of pi over 4 radians in the first quadrant and the fourth quadrant. Let's also sketch the reference triangles. Notice for both reference triangles, the adjacent side is positive 1, and the hypotenuse is square root 2. In the first quadrant, the opposite side is 1. In the fourth quadrant, the opposite side is negative 1. Now remember, any angle that's coterminal to either of these two angles would also give a cosine function value of square root 2 divided by 2. Let's first focus on the angle in the first quadrant, which is pi over 4 radians. So we have x equals pi over 4 radians, but any angle that is coterminal to this angle would also give a cosine function value of square root 2 divided by 2. To find all of the coterminal angles, we add multiples of 2 pi radians, and therefore all the solutions that have a terminal side in the first quadrant would be x equals pi over 4 plus 2 pi k radians, where 2 pi k represents multiples of 2 pi radians. And now let's focus on the angle in the fourth quadrant. Let's first find this angle as the least positive angle. This would be 2 pi radians minus pi over 4 radians, or 2 pi radians minus 1 fourth pi radians, which is 7 fourths pi radians, which gives us x equals 7 fourths pi radians. But then again, any coterminal angle to this angle would also have a cosine function value of square root 2 divided by 2. And therefore, we have plus 2 pi k radians. So these two expressions for x represent all of the solutions to the given equation. Let's verify the solution using the unit circle as well as looking at a graph. Remember on the unit circle, cosine theta is equal to x. And again, we already know x is positive in the first and fourth quadrants. So to use the unit circle to solve the equation cosine x equals square root 2 divided by 2, we look for an x coordinate in the first and fourth quadrants that's equal to square root 2 divided by 2 which we see here at pi over 4 radians, and here at 7 fourths pi radians, which gives us the same answer for all solutions of x equals pi over 4 radians plus 2 pi k radians, as well as x equals 7 fourths pi radians plus 2 pi k radians. Before we go, let's also look at this graphically. Here I've graphed y equals cosine x in red, and y equals square root 2 divided by 2 in blue. The points of intersection represent these solutions. And notice how there would be an infinite number of points of intersection, which is why the equation has an infinite number of solutions. The first angle we found in the first quadrant was pi over 4 radians, represented by this point here. And if we add 2 pi radians in the positive direction, the next angle would be 9 fourths pi radians, followed by 17 fourths pi radians, and so on. Of course, we could also move in the negative direction by subtracting multiples of 2 pi. And then the angle we found in the fourth quadrant was, is represented by this point here, where x equals 7 fourths pi radians. Moving in the positive direction, the next angle would be 15 fourths pi radians, and so on. And of course, we can also move in the negative direction by subtracting multiples of 2 pi radians. For example, here we have negative 1 fourth pi radians, which is 7 fourths pi radians minus 2 pi radians. So this graph does verify our solutions are correct. I hope you found this helpful.